Hey guys, Le Peller back with another video. Today we are on the bike yet again and we're going to a new lake. So I'm really excited. This is still, I think this is gonna be my recovery week because I'm pretty toast and I should be racing on Saturday on Zwift. So I wanna spin the legs out, get them fresh, get them ready. Then again, I've done a lot of training as of recently. So it's really good just to cool down, really enjoy the bike, just enjoy the ride. Right now I'm listening to an audio book. So I'm just big cruising. Uh, there's really no sun. It is really hot, but uh, it's overcast right now. So super nice in terms of having a little bit of shade and uh, there's still really strong headwinds. So uh, it's not like I'm going to be pushing very, very hard. So I'll update you guys along the route. I think this log is going to be kind of short. It's basically just a lake. I think I'm going to do about 80, maybe 100 Ks, but most likely I have planned this 80 kilometers, but the lake is going to be really cool. This is a different lake from the last vlog. So Let's get into that and let's get some good quality riding in. So we are currently at the lake entrance. This is kind of like a park, not like a provincial park. I'm pretty sure it isn't, but I think it's, no, it actually might be a provincial park, but this is really nice. I just want to show you guys around. I have the Garmin paused because I am doing some training. But other than that, this is, the entrance to the lake. You guys can see it's pretty dead. No one is here, or really should be because the parking lots are closed because of the current global climate. So I just wanna show you guys some spots. Maybe get a nice picture in. So let's see where we're going. Playground, left or right? I wish there was Real time comments. Let's go. Let's go left. So I really do love this route. There's lots of gas stations. So after about two hours, I would have been done my bottles. I just finished my first one. So for hour one, I finished it. I'm 30 Ks in right now. And then in terms of hour two, I'll have one more bottle. I need to start eating some rice cakes now. I think we're going to turn around because this is just the parking lot. So I messed up. But uh, for hour two, we're going to have one water bottle and then the nice gas station is going to come clutch. We're going to get some drinks, fill up the bottles, and then I will eat two rice cakes right now if I haven't mentioned it. If I did, it's important. Always refuel. So I'll drill it into your heads that nutrition on the bike is super important. That's usually how you bonk, especially after an hour of riding. Then you need to start replenishing your glycogen levels. So I'm going to eat two rice cakes with a view. You always got to do it with a view. And then uh, we'll get back on road and finish this short training ride off, which is 80 kilometers today. In terms of the park, I think this park is more designed for mountain biking. There's a lot of trails I know that's here. So it obviously isn't just for road. And I wanna to get to the lake. I'm pretty sure the lake is on this side, but I just don't feel like taking my bike down the stairs. Let's see if we can go down this descent with one hand. I think it's doable. There we go, going down the descent. And uh, yes, everything is closed off, so very interesting. I don't know where this is gonna take me. Hopefully it takes me to the lake. And I don't know where this is leading me because the lake is here. It's on my left-hand side, so I wonder where this is taking me. I'm trying to find the entrance to the lake and I think I'm gonna be doing a big lap around the lake, which I don't mind, but I kind of just wanted to be on my ride in and out, eat the rice cakes, but I'm enjoying it. I haven't been here in a while. It's been almost a year. So I'm going to enjoy myself and uh, just get to the lake. That's the goal right now. Absolutely gorgeous. I don't think it gets, I keep saying that in every video, but it's so true. Like you just got to appreciate nature sometimes. Because this is something you don't get in a city. And this is like a little nook in the city. So just really enjoy myself right now in terms of training, in terms of riding. I'm trying to get to the lake. I think I passed it, but I was just curious on how far this road actually went. I think it goes to another parking lot. So I was correct. So we're just gonna loop around and I guess we're gonna have to walk down the stairs. One thing I'm realizing right now is just with the lack of cars, and lack of people, very quiet, very enjoyable. Now, like I said earlier, it's a little eerie, but uh, when you don't have to worry about cars or people by accidentally not seeing you come by, I do enjoy that. So now we're just going to go and walk down the stairs. From what I can remember, these stairs 
are massive, so I don't really feel like walking down with my bike, but the view will be 100% worth it. We're going down to the boathouse. So I'm just going back from the path that I took you guys on before. I took some Instagram pictures and feel free to follow me on Instagram. Link in the description below along with my Strava. It is some good content that I'm trying to produce on it. So if you guys do wanna stay up to date and wanna see more behind the scenes of what happens on the riding vlogs, feel free to do that. Uh, take this corner, whoop. It's nice, I can take things wide. I don't really have to worry about cars. So I'm debating to get audio, so I do apologize for the audio if it is super windy. I'm just using the stock uh, microphone on the iPhone. Now I do travel with the bar bag, so I don't know how much space there would be for an audio uh, device on top of my phone. But um, other than that, let me know if you guys think it's that bad. I don't think it is, especially when I edit these, I lower down the volumes and the peaks so you guys don't have your ears. So I try my best. I myself hate when there's a lot of wind noise, but I think that's just one thing when you're making cycling vlog content, you're gonna get wind. Now, time to the boathouse. They blocked it off there, so that's annoying. And let's see if they blocked it here, which it doesn't seem like they did. Stairs to boathouse. And I wasn't lying, guys. These stairs are quite interesting, quite tall. But I'm pretty sure, see, I'm just having the bike in hand. I'm pretty sure that I can take the route up there because I remember there is like, whoa, almost fell. I'm pretty sure from what I can remember, it's not like single track where you need a mountain bike. Like I said, people do use uh, this park. I highly suggest you don't walk with cycling shoes downstairs. And whoa, whoa, there's a lot of inertia coming from the bike. Um, but we're getting close to the lake. But yeah, like I was saying, there's there's a, a route up there that's kind of like single track, but it's more like a walking path in my opinion. And one thing I've learned, especially with tubeless tires, is that you can definitely do some gravel-ish off-road type stuff. So no one's here, very dead. This is like my cafe stop, I guess, for the ride. And I usually don't do cafe stops. TCR Advance 2 does gravel. So I really do want to hit a lot of these rides that are more scenic at the beginning of the season. Uh, then again, is there a season? I don't know. Swift racing is pretty interesting. But uh, what I mean by that is I still do want to train and stuff. So I don't want to relax too much. But then again, I'm very eager to make more content like this. Just prop the bike, have the lake in the background. And uh, Swift racing, you can always train for that. And I think racing will resume eventually. Uh, but not even that, I feel like the gravel rides are going to be a lot more storytelling, more uh, bike vlogging-ish uh, designed, just because it's a lot chill. Um, it's more chill, actually, just because you don't have cars. That's one thing I hate about vlogging on the road bike, is that there's cars. It's hard to find a good section to, to, to really vlog. So other than that, you know, you can't really, can't really make the best vlogs on the road, unless I'm really up north. Uh, right now, I'm like north, north, uh, northwest, not too far from the city, so... Really nice, and I'm gonna flip it around, give you guys a nice look, and then uh, take some photo ops. So I'm currently eating my rice cakes. Super delicious. Like I said, always important to fuel. A little sticky, but I have, how many did I bring today? I think I have five, but
I want something really cold. Because a cold drink is just, it always hits it, especially when it's hot. Today is not super hot. It's more humid. Um, never, never litter. Always put it in your back pocket or your bar bag. Right now I'm just doing it because my bike's resting. So put this, don't, don't litter because mother nature will get mad. And then you just take your next rice cake because this one's, this one's a long rice cake. So yeah, other than that, um, I'm just trying to enjoy some nice rides. Uh, I think it's always nice when you have a nice view in the background. I think the thing I'm missing the most from last season around this time was, um, I don't know why I put such a big cover. Um, the thing I'm missing the most is uh, Criterion Racing. It was really nice local, um, local moco, no, local racing. And um, just seeing, you know, the familiar faces is always enjoyable. It's really nice. And uh, without that, you know, cycling can get, you know, it's a, it's a solo sport in the sense where you train by yourself. Um, and with social distancing and everything, obviously that should be encouraged. But uh, I feel like a big part of the sport is the weekend rides. When you're riding with uh, fellow cyclists, it just makes the vibe a lot more different. It just feels like a lot of solo, solo, solo training. Then again, I'm not complaining because... The weather is amazing. I'm taking full advantage of that. It's way better than, you know, being back on the trainer like I was from January all the way up to recently, all, all the way up to almost mid-May. So I'm not complaining. This is, I take this any day of the week, any any day of the year, actually, in terms of not having to be on the trainer. It's not that I don't like the trainer. I think the trainer is needed for rainy days or days where you want to get a solid block of training, which I will start again, I think next week or, or sometime next week in terms of just a solid hour where you can do some intervals. But I think that's just super important because the trainer every single day can get so repetitive where I think the it really shines with maybe some racing to get the intensity up if you don't have a lot of local races near you like I do. So it's really good for racing intensity, uh, good for structure training where you don't have any cars that you have to worry about. You can literally just put the, da the power down. You don't really have to worry about making sure that you hold a specific line on the road, anything like that. And then also... I think it's good for rainy days, for days that you really don't want to go outside. So I think that's where the trainer is. I don't I don't know how people can do it all year long. I've done it for six months, seven months. So that's pretty, pretty tough for me. Um, so I love being outside, guys. I, I hope you guys too. Comment what you guys like more, outside or indoors. I think it depends. But I would say hopefully everyone does agree with outside riding. Now I'm going to finish the rest of my rice cake, go on the trail upwards out of the park, and then we're going to be back on the road. Then I'm gonna vlog probably when we get to the gas station, uh, which is gonna be within the next hour at 60 Ks, give or take. And then we have 20 to 30 Ks home. I don't know if I'm gonna do 100. I think 80 is good for today. I did 100 yesterday for the Rafa bar bag vlog slash review. So I think today just take it easy, 80 Ks home and uh, just relax after. Back on the open roads, not a car in sight, just really, enjoying this free speed and I have 40 k's to go so halfway officially done my ride I hope you guys have the opportunity wherever you guys are right now in the world to get a ride in today and spin those legs and just keep on pedaling because I know I'm doing that and absolutely love it so guys that wraps it up it was two hours and 30 ish minutes 81 kilometers average speed was 31 k's so pretty good day on the bike. I still need to uh, put my power meter on the bike. I ordered everything because I've been training just with heart rate. So I've been kind of slacking in terms of efficiency, but once those parts in, I'm gonna put my Altegra dual-sided power meter and also do a review on it. So stay tuned for that. But now I'm gonna give you my final thoughts in the backyard. I think we're gonna make that a vlog tradition. I think it's always good to end it on a positive note. So the ride is finally done. And I can take off my helmet. I got some helmet hair. I got some homemade, I think these are blueberry banana oat kind of treats. Very good, I got the water to refuel because I didn't find a gas station, funny enough. I was actually down to get one, but I finished the ride well within the mark for an extra bottle. So I finished around two hours, 30 minutes. So I didn't need to fill up, but I was still pretty much at my limits in terms of having no fluids left in me. 
I'm thirsty. But all in all, a very good ride. Um, but you know, if you don't have the cafe stop, was it really a ride or was it just training? So I think some long, I'm, I'm hoping for gravel rides with cafe stops, more chill vibes. I feel like it's always go, 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 especially when I'm on the bike. I just want to relax, kick my feet up, have a good conversation. I don't know if you guys like watching me eat, but after a ride, I can eat like this much. So I hope you guys did enjoy the vlog, the ride vlog today. And if you guys did, smash the like button down below. Uh, subscribe if you guys aren't. Uh, tons more videos like this if you guys do enjoy it. I said this in the video if you guys didn't catch it. Uh, let me know how bad the audio is. I don't think it's terrible. Um, I just don't know in terms of the configuration if I did get an audio device for my phone, how we would fit it into uh, the frame bag. That's the main reason why I run the frame bag. If I didn't vlog with my phone, I'd probably just run the front bag for um, nutrition. So hopefully it's not that bad. I said in the video that I lower the peaks so there's not like whoosh of uh, noise in terms of the, the wind. But other than that, I hope you guys are enjoying it. It's pretty fun making them and bringing you guys along, especially with social distancing. It feels like I'm riding with you guys, or at least you guys are riding with me. So it keeps it interesting, keeps it fun, keeps it light. And until the next one, keep on pedaling.